from New Albany Floyd County Schools is now in the hands of voters. It would mean safer schools, but it would also mean a property tax increase for Floyd County residents. Now school leaders are pushing for support. Our Abby Lutz is breaking down what's next. Well, the school district has voted unanimously to put this referendum in front of voters. It will appear on the ballot in the May 5th primary. And until then, school leaders say they'll push for support. It's a good question. Fielding questions and pleading their case. Society has evolved and the challenges of adolescence have also changed. They're getting a glimpse into what life is really like uh, in our schools and for our kids. New Albany Floyd County school leaders held a news conference Tuesday in a push for support of a school safety referendum. It would add an eight and a half cent property tax increase for Floyd County homeowners over the next eight years. But it first needs to be passed by voters. Every registered voter in Floyd County. Sparking questions. Where are you going to spend the money? What's it going for? From parents already worried about their children's safety. It's so scary to send kids to school these days. If passed, the referendum would bring more than $3 million into the district every year. 30% of that money is set to be spent on physical upgrades, 70% on mental health services. Mental health especially, I feel like uh, a lot of people are not super literate or comfortable with uh, the whole scope of service that mental health is. I think that you have to be preventative in this situation and not reactive. Now it's full steam ahead. This has opened up a dialogue between our school corporation and our families. We're discussing societal pressures that are unfamiliar to them and um, the need for resources. There is now a website to break down information about this referendum and work to address the main concerns from the community. I'll be sure to post a link to that inside of this story on our app. For now, New Albany, Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.